everybody welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're brand new um based on the last episode we took on a couple of double gangers actually if you haven't seen that episode you should go back and watch it it's actually quite a good one and now this time we're actually going after some miser or whatever his name was in the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you is gonna take some time. Slow and painful. Seriously, mate, you can't take on without just having it. Like I said, kids are cool, Jack. And I'm very in touch with my inner child. <laughs> Big audience, like a great. Really? Right, we're back in there, guys. Come change controls quickly. Sorry about this. I can't find it. Oh well, we have to just use it then. Somehow. Just gonna have to use it, okay. Right, my back. So unprofessional. Right, with zoom. Yeah. 
Now it's getting, now it's getting harder. As a boy, Jack. What happens in three hours? I've taken Marshal HQ. Yeah, yeah. I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry. Right. What Sundown has said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. 
and in three hours, maybe less. He said even Mach 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The war on terror part two. Contact the military. Official generals are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial generals will take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over world martial? Then we have to get there first. Never much, no. Possible. It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. Right. Contact Solus. Okay, so that's done then. Okay, that'll do. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I can do to ride it now. Body. Ooh, yes, please. That goes as fair as they are. Can't do any more skills, can I? No, I can't. I got all the skills I can. I do. Yeah. I look better now. Cargo's all set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi auto mode. And the space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the common line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! What is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ 320s! Oh, what is Shit! This is a transport chopper! Our defensive options are limited! Missiles incoming! Oh, God! Uh. Strong enough to take out the drone. Here's the cup. I'll handle this. I did. Have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Bring the 
chopper around. My friend, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> 